Hello, welcome back to my channel and this time I'm going to be doing a January favourites for you. I asked if it's something you'd like to watch and a lot of you said it was so I'm going to attempt it and tell you about all my favourite things and because I have such a shopping problem this will probably change a lot throughout the year so I thought it'd be good to look back at things that I've loved as well so even if no one watches it I can watch it later and be like oh yeah remember about that lipstick I really loved that. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, I did actually film this once already and I had such a stinking cold that number one I looked terrible and number two you would have clicked off as soon as you heard me talk because it was so annoying. I don't look that much better today because I've just come in from work and thrown on some lipstick in the hope that that will jazz up by look in some way um, but I really wanted to get this out for you this weekend so I'm going to talk to you um, it's mainly fashion and beauty to be honest um, that's mainly what I love and there's just a few extra bits so I'm going to start with fashion um, now if you know me that you'll know that fashion um, like clothing that I wear varies a lot like the other day my partner's mum was looking through some old photos and just like oh my gosh Emma is never in the same clothes and it's not that I never wear them more than once but I like to not wear them for ages after and then pull them back out so everyone feels like they've never seen it before as opposed to just wear 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 however I've had two items that have just broken all my normal rules this month they look good together and they look good separate and I've just worn them to death so starting with this top here from Whistles if you follow me on social media you will have probably seen this a fair few times and that's when you know that I must love it that you've seen it a few times um, I got it in the Black Friday sales for I think 20% off I wasn't meant to be spending any more money and then I went shopping with a friend because she had a ball and I said to her do not let me buy anything like I I cannot buy anymore and she wasn't a very good friend because I tried this on I came out of the change room she was like oh I love that you have to get it and because it was Black Friday and the sales were on I just thought yeah I, I did it so I've worn this loads I also had my trip just before Christmas I went to Paris and I thought this would be great I love a good Breton stripe for Paris so I wore it in there and I will insert a few pictures now for you to see just what this looks like on as opposed to just on the hanger but it's so flattering I love a high neckline as you can see um, and yeah I just really like it it looks good tucked in it looks good tucked out tucked out <laughs> Um, and yeah I've just been loving that and I keep going to it when I don't know what to wear so that's how I know it was a good buy and then secondly this was on my Christmas wish list and I was very lucky to have received it off my parents it's this play suit so again I'm going to insert a picture of what this looks like on because this is so hard to show you on here but it's a play suit that comes to about uh, just above the ankles kind of like mid calf length and it's from a brand called Club Monaco I saw this on another blogger Lydia um, and I just loved how she kind of sold it to me because she was like you can just wear this so many different ways and it can make an outfit instantly look more dressed up like you could easily wear this to work um, I just yeah I just absolutely love it I think it's the material it's a wool blend and the material is just beautiful and I've actually written a blog post about this so if you want to find out more about this item I'll also link that below um, but it's also got these amazing deep front pockets which I love and when you're a blogger it's like the best thing ever because sometimes you just don't know what to do with your hands so to have a good pocket to slide them in and I've worn this with shirts, with heart high necks, with like knitwear underneath, on its own, like just a plain white long top. Um, I can't wait to start styling it for spring because I think it will be perfect for that with like a bardo style top underneath. Um, but 
yeah I love it and again I mainly wear it with heels actually because I quite like the feel that that gives um, and also it makes your bum look really good I like it for the bum right next off is not like a great fashion thing I mean they've been out for absolutely years but I have lived in it pretty much I've got I've got one of these in like five different colors and I've worn it probably every single day of January so I had to mention it and that is just a standard pashmina I like pashminas because like I do I don't mind a chunky scarf but I prefer something a bit more delicate um, and I like that with these I can kind of just really layer it up and I wrap it around a few times and I quite like just chucking this bit over and have it draped I like the look that that gives don't ask me why but I just prefer a pashmina to a standard knitwear scarf and so I just thought I'd mention that because I have been living in these all of January probably used it more than anything else in my January favorites so I just thought I had to mention that next is you've seen these before on my YouTube channel if you've watched my videos before and that is the Michael Kors velvet boots I think I can't remember these exact their exact names but I will write it below and I managed to get hold of these in the Harrods fashion preview for um, I think it was 30% off I got these um, I mentioned so I did an unboxing video and I mentioned to you that I hadn't had a chance to really wear them and that I would check back in with them and I just want to let you know these are so comfortable I even wore them in Paris only for the evening yes but we walked everywhere in Paris and so that shows that they were comfy and they're just so easy like if I don't know what shoes to wear I mean in these colder months this is just such an easy option to me and in a nice pair of skinny jeans as well they look really nice they look nice with a skirt and some black tights so I had to mention these just because for a more dressed up shoe in the winter I find it hard because it's so rainy here in England and the weather's just unreliable so even if it looks super sunny outside or well, okay probably not super sunny because it's January but even if it looks really nice outside sometimes it's just a bit of a risk to take um, shoes that aren't kind of more closed in and worn so these have been a blessing for me I've loved them okay final thing now this actually I don't think we can really call it fashion because it's certainly not fashionable but in the wintry months I just live in slipper socks and I got these ones for Christmas and since then I love to just come home from work pop them on and they just keep my feet warm I'm like prone to having really cold hands and feet so these are lovely for me and they've got the little what do you even call these you know like grips on the bottom so that you don't slide all over tiles and wooden flooring so these are just really cute and not fashionable but necessary in January so that is my fashion segment rounded up with a beautiful ending okay next up is beauty um, again I've got quite a few pieces in beauty um, starting off with something that I'm gonna mention so quickly because I've done blogs about this I've also done my top 10 beauty buys which this featured in and that is these two L'Oreal mascaras you can see them yeah so um, we've got the L'Oreal um, false um, false lash sculpt or false 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 lash sculpt and then we've got the volume million lashes so couture and these layered together are amazing but they're also so good separately um, I'm a makeup artist as well and so for value for money these are just so easy to chuck in my kit and depending on the lashes I'll use one or the other and clients have just been loving them I've recommended them to so many people I've put it on people and then they've gone and bought them so I just had to mention them quickly because my mis uh, my Chanel mascara has taken a back seat in January and these have taken centre stage next up I have a new MAC liner again if you follow me on social media and saw my snapchat recently I seem to have a problem with these kind of shades let me just show you so this shade is something that I just wear 
seems to be all the time she says with like a deep purple berry on her lips now but matte colors I seem to just go for these kind of shades um, this one is called I don't know it looks a bit like etc I think it's etc and it's like um a warm brownie orangey color so this is so cute on your lips it's really lovely shade and because it's a new one I mean I change my lip colors all the time my students say to me miss coming into your lessons is like coming into a sweet shop because it's always just a different color <laughs> um, so I do like to change up a lot but because this is new this has just been something that I reach to that a little bit more than the rest of them at the moment I guess it's like a novelty so yeah I've been really liking this from MAC um, secondly is a polish and this is Essie and I think it's called Chinchilli yep yeah. Chinchilli this colour I got for Christmas I've actually got it on my nails now I'll try and show you um, and it's kind of like a warm um, like a warm grey with like a mauve undertone to it um, I got this for Christmas and since then not allowed to wear nail varnish to work but when I come in like on a Friday this is the colour I tend to reach for at the moment um, and I've just been really liking it I like it on toes as well so I've currently got it on my toes and my fingers and it's just a polish that I've been really loving finally is Beauty Steel but it's more skincare um, and ages and ages ago I got a what do you call it you know like if you spend x amount of money get like a little goodie bag with it of, of travel size stuff for new things to try and Fenix gave me the uh, probably the best novelty prize ever um, so in the goodie bag it had loads of incredible products that I've gone on to buy um, and this was one of them so this is the Shiseido um, gentle cleanser it was in the bag and I just kind of, I have loads of cleansers and I just kind of never reached to it um, for this until the other day when I'd forgotten my cleanser and I was like, oh no, how am I going to take my makeup off? And so I was like, oh, I've got that in my wash bag. So I tried it and oh my goodness, I have been obsessed. It foams up, which I love because it just gives you that real clean feeling. But to add to that clean feeling, when you wash it off, your face squeaks. I mean, it may not be for everyone, but that is right up my street. My face just feels so clean. The product feels amazing. And so once I've finished using this travel size, it is something that I will for sure be buying again because it's... oh. It's amazing. Love, love, love this. Um, then my moisturiser. Again, this was in Beauty Favourites. I've spoken about it before. And this is the NARS Luminous Moisture Cream. Um, I have, in the winter, I get dry patches on the tops of my cheeks. And I haven't really found anything to really work, really moisturise. Sometimes it looks like it's moisturised, then I put my foundation on and I can see it's kind of sticking to it slightly. Um, whereas if I apply this first, and I also apply it before bed, I have noticed a real difference. And yeah, I've been really enjoying this product too. Oh my god. Sorry, I thought I'd been doing this whole thing with lipstick up my face. I don't think I have. I think it's just a reflection. <laughs> um... Two more things in this category, and that is the limited edition Lulu Guinness of Vaseline. I love Lulu Guinness. I love this whole... How would you even call this? Like her designs that she does with the lipstick and the dolls. And this just looks really nice on my bedside table. That's where it stays. And just before bed, I smother my lips in this. I love Vaseline anyway, but this was just a novelty thing that I have been using a lot through January. And then my January fra fragrance has been the Asian Provocateur um, perfume. This one is more, I've had it for ages and I love it. 
but it's more of like my going out scent and in January there's obviously a lot more things going on so I've just found that I've been using this more than anything else and also I'm on the hunt for more of a winter fragrance like this is really nice it's like an evening scent and I wear it all year round but I want something more wintry because so many of my smells um my fragrances are quite light and floral and so I've got loads that I love wearing in the summer but there's hardly any that I reach for in the winter so if you have a winter fragrance that you love I would love for you to leave a comment because I'm on the lookout for one okay so my final thing to talk about is number one a single that I love and that is um, Ed Sheeran's new song Shape of You it is just I love it. He's come back. He took a year out. He's come back with an absolute belter. Like, he is incredible. And this song has just been like on repeat in my head. It's in my car. And I just love it. And Ed Sheeran. Well done. And my second thing is um, because January, obviously, health kicks off. Got back into my fitness, got back into healthy eating, apart from the weekends, which I'm terrible at. But in the week, I have been loving, um, for Christmas, we got, the family got a, I think it's called a Ninja smoothie maker. And it is so good, and it literally blitzes your stuff. So if you don't like bits in your smoothie, it's so good, because you can have it so it blends it a little bit, or you can have it so that it, is so powerful it will blend it completely up to no bits and every morning for breakfast or if I'm needing like a sugar fix throughout the day then I'll make a fruit smoothie or something with almond milk because I have finally like almond milk before I never it was never for me but in smoothies oh, I love it so yeah I've been really healthy having my almond milk and uh, in my smoothies my favorite is banana with almond milk and a little bit of honey. I know it's not that imaginative because there's so many good ones out there, but that one for me is like, if I need a sugar fix or I've done an exercise, that one is perfect. So I think that's it. I mean, I have been, I have got quite a few favorites. This is my problem. Next month will be interesting for my February favorites because I'm doing no spending February so that should be really interesting to see how I get on because if you've been following me for a while you know I've got a huge spending problem I just love buying stuff mainly clothes mainly luxury clothes which is my problem and luxury beauty so I'm trying to prove to myself but we're, we're in the process of moving out and getting our own house so I need to really be able to control my spending. Not that I'm bad, because I'll never spend more money than what I have, but I do spend what money I earn. So this just proves I don't need to be doing that and putting more into my savings, which will be, well, my boyfriend's just gonna love me for that. So I'm gonna try and do it. So it'll be interesting. I think my February favorites will be me trying to like go back on stuff that I've not used for ages, like rediscovering things. So. Yeah, I will keep you posted for the February favourites. But for now, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I would love, love, love it if you would subscribe. Slowly and slowly, I think I'm getting more of the hang of this. I've actually got natural light today um, without the light blaring it, which is what happened last time. Um, and so, yeah, I just really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon.